Hey there YouTube, One Fish, Two Fish ROC, coming at you with a DIY that I'm really, really eager to share with all of you. Been working on this thing for the last couple of weeks, and I finally have it up and running, and I'm ready to share it. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to teach you how to build a surface skimmer water polisher using shop vac parts. That's right, you heard it, shop vac parts. So, without much further ado, I'm going to go ahead and rearrange the camera and get some supplies together, and we're going to get going on this thing. Stay tuned. Okay, so the main items that you're going to need to make this project are a chunk of the shop vac tubing. It's about two inches in diameter, give or take. And then the... Uh, shop vac conversion kit adapter kit both of these can be purchased at Lowe's or anywhere I suppose where the shop vac brand is carried and what you're gonna use out of the conversion kit is this piece there are three there are a couple of other pieces but the one you want is this one right here so <clears throat> another thing to note is that the tube has a very very slight taper to it all right it's a little wider at one end than it is at the other but I have a way to mitigate that um, if you want to make obviously more than one or you're having issues so in other words the end that I already cut off fits down inside here but you can see that it doesn't right now so again I'll show you what I did uh, or what you can do to mitigate that other items are some kind of little saw or cutting device. Uh, I suppose you could use power tools. I just don't happen to have any power saws or anything like that. Um, possibly some zip ties, if nothing else, because it's not a project if it doesn't involve zip ties. Sandpaper, possibly a little bit of that black foam. Um, if you saw my DIY on the plant pontoons, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can get a little bit of this sheeting at Walmart in the craft area for about 33 cents. Last but not least is the 100% polyester polyfill material. You'll be using that when you're ready to assemble this thing. So what I'm going to do is pause the camera and then I'm going to move a couple things around and show you a little more detail as far as what I did to create the skimmer part. I'll be right back. Okay. The first thing you're going to want to do is select a power head and make note of how large the intake is on it. Now, when I started the project, I thought I was going to be using this one. This is an aqua top that I purchased from Aquarium Co-op. You can see the intake on it is roughly three quarters of an inch. So what I did was, first off, you want to take the strainer. You can put it on the power head like it should be. All right. Then I took this piece right here and just used a saw and cut it back such that it would fit down tightly and it really is a nice tight fit. It's not going anywhere. You slide it down overneath or excuse me over the strainer. All right. So this is what you're looking at right now. Okay? Then in order to make the skimmer body, I cut the narrow end off of that chunk of the vacuum tube that I was telling you about initially. And then I just marked off even, evenly spaced some areas where I was going to cut the slots in. And then I just took a rotary tool and went ahead and zipped them on down in. Again, you're going to want to measure ahead of time, maybe mock something up to see how long of a body you're going to need uh, depending whether you're going to use it as a surface skimmer or from the bottom intake as though you're going to use it as a polisher that way. So that's basically the body. That's pretty straightforward. Now, what you can do is you slide the body right into that and voila, you have yourself either a polisher or a surface skimmer. 
Now, in the case of the AquaClear, the AquaClear has an intake considerably smaller than the three-quarter inch or so that worked so wonderfully on the AquaTop. However, there's a way around it. it. took me a little while to figure it out, but this is how I solved the problem. The AquaClear comes with this rubbery gasket thing. So I put that down over top of the factory grill here. Took the base and I used the AquaTop strainer. I imagine you can probably either you have a couple of extra strainers laying around from other unused power heads or probably you could buy them. I assume there's extension kits that would have something like like them in it. But anyways, I stuck the strainer up in the base that I had cut and lo and behold I was able to jam it down over top of, got lucky I guess, that rubber thing and now I got it to work on the AquaClear. And again I just put the body that I cut into it and I have myself either a polisher that you enter the water enters from the bottom or a surface skimmer with the slits on the top all right so you just have to be a little creative uh, you might have to use electrical tape to tighten something up plumbers tape maybe um, possibly even a piece of little black foam or something to wrap around if, if something isn't quite a tight enough fit for what you need so we're at this stage of the game here so we have this on here voila there you have it now a couple other things to consider I told you that the main tube here does have a taper to it so please note that the narrow end fits nice and neat down inside this thing you know you're you're good to go here no problems right however you decide you want to make a second one or, or what have you um, and you suddenly realize whoa this suddenly doesn't fit so you can either cut a chunk the next chunk up gonna be a little bigger or there's this pre-cut piece that comes with that adapter kit already just has a sort of a thread on it which honestly you could leave on there if you wanted or you can cut it off if you want a smooth end on both ends you could cut the slits down on this end if you wanted incidentally I needed something to help me space the slits out equally <laughs> I just took an apple slicer um, you, you may have one of these laying around in the kitchen but I took that and a silver sharpie and I was able to actually mark where the slits were going to go and they were going to be evenly divided along the edge of the um, tubing here so here's your pre-cut piece if you decide to go this route with a pre-cut piece all you have to do is cut the slits in it if you want it to be a top feed now you're gonna see here's the problem I hit I was like what's going on with this what am I gonna do about that well if you noticed my other DIY I have in my listings it was the pool noodle pontoon well, I got to thinking how am I going to connect these two that are basically the same size well guess what folks the pool noodle happens to fit perfectly down in here so actually it ends up acting as a coupler so that you can fit that other factory cup tube over top of it and either end I mean if you decide you want to do bottom feed you can leave the thread on it or you can put the thread end in other words you don't have to cut it off you really don't it doesn't look bad at all really you know so or you just slide that in there and cut slits on the top or not depending again how you want this thing to function now what I suggest is if you have to use a chunk of the noodle or whatever just kind of route the center out to be wider here obviously to allow for flow down into the strainer here and on down into the body of the pump so just take a knife or whatever and you know cut the cut the guts out of the thing a little bit and make that wider so that's how you would mitigate 
the problem you have as far as the uh, rest of the pipe being a little too big to actually slide down into the sleeve. You don't waste the pipe. Again, you know, you're able to get around that problem. So that's how I solved that one. So in this case, like I say, I'm going to be using this as a top skimmer. Um, I've had my 20 high running now for a couple of weeks, two, three weeks or so cycling, and I did notice a kind of that oily biofilm or whatever it is uh, settling on the top of the tank, and that was really starting to bother me. And again, um, I've wanted to try to build a skimmer for some time now. What I'm going to do is put this bit together here. Again, I'm going to pause the camera and I'll get this set up in a tank so I can show you what this thing looks like in action. Alright, let me go set that up and I'll be right back. Alright everyone, this is the skimmer in action. It's in a 10 gallon tank. I've had it running for at least 24 hours and it's going steady as you can see. At the left end of the tank I put some plastic streamers in there just to give you a sense of how the flow is and the fact that the skimmer mod is not really affecting the performance of the powerhead pump. I'm going to come in close show you what's happening here at the skimmer. As you can see it's working like a champ. On this side right here you'll see where I added a suction cup with one of those metal hooks on it and I just slipped the hook down into one of the slots on the back of the body of the skimmer to help hold it in place and keep it steady since the skimmer body is offset from the tank by an inch or so. But you can see the whole assembly here and how well it's working. I'm having some issues down below with reflections on the glass so forgive some of this but I'll do my best to show you so yeah it's working really well what I thought I'd do real quick here now just to see what's happening at the surface I grabbed a little bit of uh, frog spawn from one of my other tanks and we'll just put a couple of these floaty plants in on top and see what happens As you can see, they're drawn right down to the end where the skimmer is. So I would consider this fairly successful, at least at the moment. Um, it's adding flow to the tank, cleaning the surface, and if I choose to run the Venturi tube, obviously I will also have the added benefit of additional oxygenation. Hope this gives you a good idea of what this thing might look like if it's in your tank. All right, thanks for watching. So there you have it, a surface skimmer you can build at home using shop vac parts. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you try it out. Uh, if anybody has any con contributions or uh, improvements, feedback, anything on this, please leave it in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if any of you build this, please make a video, post it. I really want to see if, if this thing flies for others out there. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it and hope to see you on another one soon. Thanks and goodbye.